So in this video, we're going to talk about the thyroid gland. There are so many people that are walking around with a thyroid problem, but it's secondary to something else. In fact, when they take the thyroid medication, they don't really feel any better or they don't lose the weight. So the problem is associating what's really underneath the thyroid problem. You know, when you go to a doctor, they'll do a blood test and they may or may not find anything. They might not look deep enough, or even if they do find it, they'll put you on medication, but you don't always see changes. So let's talk about all the other possibilities of, of the actual cause of a thyroid problem. Uh, from my experience working with a lot of doctors in the field, um, most thyroid conditions are not primary. They're not just the primary thyroid problem unless you've been exposed to radiation. Now the thyroid is located in the base of the neck right here about two and a half inches wide and the gland controls metabolism. If there's a problem with the thyroid and it's a low thyroid, nearly a hundred enzymes inside your cells will be blocked. That's why you have problems with protein. You won't be able to absorb um, the proteins in the body to make hair. So your hair dries out. It start, you start losing your hair. You get vertical ridges on your nails. You have loose skin right here and right here. You gain weight all over, not in any one location. You get cold feet. You have to wear socks to bed at night. Uh, you have problems with depression. You are tired despite how many hours of sleep that you get. Decreased libido. Um, digestive problems. Constipation. You crave carbs, especially breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes. Now, you could also have an adrenal body type and have similar symptoms, but what you're going to look at is what, what are the most associated characteristics with that body type, and then you would tend to you know, deal with that. Now, in no way am I diagnosing you or telling you to diagnose your, your own condition. Um, that's my disclaimer because you you got to get with your doctor if you want to diagnose hypothyroidism. Um, I'm just giving you information to understand the associated uh, symptoms of the thyroid in relationship to other causes. Okay, so number one, the liver converts the thyroid hormones. So in other words, if you look at the, the T3 and T4 the number uh, on that T or T3 or T4 represents the number of iodine molecules that are on that hormone. T4 um, is really an inactive thyroid hormone and it's activated through the liver to become T3. So in your liver you have certain enzymes to strip off one of the iodine molecules to make it T3 to make T3 the active form of thyroid hormone. So in other words 80% of the thyroid function occurs through your liver. Without a liver, you cannot convert and make your thyroid work. Okay, so that's one thing you need to know. So if your liver is damaged, chances are you could, that could be the source of your thyroid problem. If you have constipation that backs up the liver, that could be a cause of your thyroid problem. If you have a sluggish gallbladder or no gallbladder, that could be a source of your thyroid problem because you're not able to convert these hormones correctly. And just so you know, um, if you don't have enough bile, which comes from a lot of adrenal stress, and you don't have that, that, um, that substance called bile, which helps you break down fats for one reason or, the, or another, you won't be able to concentrate the iodine to to make this thyroid thing work too. So many times you might have a good liver, but just not enough bile production, and that alone could influence the thyroid. Okay, so those are some common causes. It could be your diet's deficient in iodine um, because the soils are really, really poor, or maybe you're allergic to iodine, or maybe you're allergic to shellfish, which has iodine. Okay, those are possibilities. The other possibility is high levels of estrogen. Okay, that's another common cause. Why do I know that? Because many times uh, females, right after their pregnancy, they develop a thyroid condition because of the spike of estrogen. Or women that have thyroid problems usually have high, heavy, high, high levels of estrogen coming from heavy periods or heavy crampy periods or painful periods. Estrogen dominance will block the thyroid because estrogen competes for the thyroid receptors, so it blocks the receptors. So too much estrogen can also be the a source of a primer of a, of a thyroid problem. Okay, so estrogen being the primary cause, the thyroid problem being the symptom of high estrogen. 
So these are all things you want to look at. Estrogen also can damage the liver and stop the conversion from T4 to T3. <clears throat> Estrogen can also concentrate the bile to block the conversion from T4 to T3. So you can see there's many, many different causes of thyroid problem. Um, so now the question is, how do we break it down? How do we find out what it is? My way is always like this. I would like to ask a question out of all these possibilities, which one would, would make the most sense? Which one would actually help everything going on here? And from my experience, it's, um, it's usually a gallbladder bile problem because once you have enough bile, you start to um, lubricate the colon. So it gets rid of the constipation. It allows the conversion from T4 to T3. It helps the digestion. It takes the pressure off the liver. It allows the estrogen to flood through the liver much better. So you see, if you approach it from that viewpoint, by fixing one thing, does it fix everything at the same time? Because these things are not individual problems. They're all connected. And the principle that's very true is that the underlying real cause of any of these problems is usually very obvious once you figure it out. It's nothing abstract, nothing very mysterious. So that's what you want to look for. Um, or let's say um, you say that when did this problem start? Right after a pregnancy. Well, we know then it's high estrogen levels. Okay, so anyway, that kind of gives um, you a deeper understanding of thyroid conditions and what maybe you should start looking at in helping yourself with the thyroid uh, body type.